everything I command you, that you shall be careful to do it. You shall neither add to it, nor subtract from it. If there will arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of a dream, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign he spoke of happens, and he says, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us worship them. You shall not heed the words of that prophet or a dreamer of a dream. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you really love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Children of Israel, watch me as I perform a sign from God. Here we go! It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time is tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. God must be with you, Rabbi, since you can perform signs and wonders. Rabbi, we know that you have come from God as a teacher, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Yes, he is. So you must listen to me. You can see and enter the kingdom if you are born again. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. How is this so, Rabbi? Are you not a Pharisee? As the copper serpent was to Israel, I am the Son of Man to Israel. Gaze upon me and you will see and enter the kingdom. Are you the teacher of Israel and do not understand these things? No one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven the Son of Man. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that whoever believes will in Him have eternal life. The Lord said to Moses, Make yourself a serpent and put it on a pole and let whoever is bitten look at it and live. Moses made a copper snake and put it on a pole. And whenever a snake bit a man, he would gaze upon the copper snake and live. And it was in the third year of Hoshea, the son of Elah, the king of Israel, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, the king of Judah, became king. He was 25 years old when he became king. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord like all that his father David had done. He abolished the high places and smashed the mountains and cut down the Asherah and crushed the copper serpent that Moses had made. For until those days, the children of Israel were burning incense to it. And he called it Nehushtan. He trusted in the God of Israel. There was none like him among all the kings of Judah who were after him, nor were there before him. He cleaved to the Lord. He did not turn away from following him. He kept his commandments, which he had commanded Moses. Once we rid the world of Jesus, the copper snake, the world can be redeemed. Shalom. <laughs>